Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your July 2022 mid-month general reading. We are looking at the last two weeks of July and this reading is for the air sign of Libra. Welcome everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Thanks for taking the time to be here to watch these videos. For all that you do in support of my channel, those of you that hit the like, share, subscribe button, uh, support, feedback, comments, those of you who reach out for personal readings, always greatly appreciate and I always like to begin with that. So thank you very much. Okay, Libra, this is for you for the last two weeks of July 2022. That's if your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in Libra. It's also relevant if you're cross-watching for a Libra as well. Uh, if you know all of your signs, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, watch them all because, you know, general readings always resonate a little differently for everyone. And, uh, you know, seeing... Um, Seeing the videos for your other signs can help bring in a little additional insight and perspective into what's going on in your own personal situation. So try to do that if you can. And if you find that something does resonate with you enough that you'd like to reach out for a personal reading, maybe take a deeper look at something and unpack it a little bit more, reach out for a personal reading, feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I would be delighted to hear from you. And I can usually respond within the same day with more information. I do offer a wide variety of readings in all areas of life. And I do this full time, so I'm pretty timely about uh, scheduling people in. I try to do it as quickly as possible. So email me if you're interested. And you can also see that email uh, contact information by clicking the description link. Okay, Libra, let's see what the last half of July looks like for you. I am using the Tarot of Dreams and clarifying with the Gilded Tarot. Okay, Libra, we begin with the Ace of Coins in the reverse. In the upright position, this, of course, aces are the number one, so they represent new beginnings or the opportunity for new beginnings. The Ace of Coins, Ace of Pentacles is the Ace of Earth. So it might be a more practical new beginning, like a new job, new project, moving, relocating. But it can represent new beginnings in emotional areas as well. But it is in the reverse, meaning that it is stalled or not going to manifest. With that, we, <laughs> we have the Hanging Man. You know, I've already done your sister signs, Aquarius and Gemini, uh, Libra, and they're all very similar, and I think yours is too. The hanging man, waiting, watching, not taking decisive action. You might be learning and gaining new information. So whatever this ace of coins represents to you, this new beginning, it's either at a stall or it's blocked. Next we have death final ending so that rebirth and transformation can occur this is like i say final endings because that's what death represents where there's no resuscitation back from that it's rebirth and transformation and new beginnings so something is coming to a final end with the seven of cups the idealistic dreamy card daydreaming fantasizing building castles in the sky looking only at the best and most perfect possibility and potential in something it's a beautiful card and it can be quite positive, but it's not very realistic. Yeah, so death in the seven of cups is like your bubble being burst or being shown to be what it is, um, an illusion, right? It's like living inside of a soap bubble. It's beautiful, it's shimmery, it's iridescent with reflection of all the colors, but the second that that bubble brushes up against reality, it pops and, and, and that's what this is here. Next, we have the Nine of Wands, which we sometimes call the Wounded Warrior, too. So when the Tarot tends numerically represent the end of a cycle or a cycle coming full circle and ending or, or coming to a full achievement, right? The Nine of Wands represents somebody who's already been through so much. They're very close to being at the end. They're feeling discouraged, tired, worn out, maybe feeling like giving up. How do I get through this yet another obstacle? Should I? Do I want to? With the four of coins, sometimes called the miser cards. So fours numerically can represent stability because it's the most stable base to build something on, but it can also represent stagnancy. The four of coins is sometimes called the miser card because it represents somebody who's showing you what their, their four little coins here, right? But they're not going to give them to you. They're not going to share them, right? 
they're afraid maybe they've lost in the past so they want to hold on to what they have because they feel it's 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 not going to be enough or it might not be enough it can on a financial material or an emotional level represent being guarded protected uh, guarded and protective and withholding looks like you're kind of tired of this some situation whether it's I mean the ace of coins for some of you it might be in the earth energy area of life work money finance property real estate assets that kind of stuff could be in emotions too it's like you're waiting 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 and maybe it was told to you or implied to you by the other person place or situation that if you just keep you know it's like you keep pouring into a situation um but it and they might give you enough to keep you there whether again this is a job a business or a relationship of some other kind but it's never really enough it never gets you where you want to be it's kind of like stringing you along with the hope that oh it's seven of cups it's going to be this and it's going to be that and when it does it's going to be so great and so beautiful but it never really materializes again it's like living inside of that beautiful soap bubble you know when you're inside of it it's all is well but when it hits up against reality it pops because it's not self-sustaining there isn't anything real could be a narcissistic relationship too where you're expected to give all and devote all well, again whether this is love or whether it's work or something else and the second you say i am not getting fulfilled i'm not getting what i need here you know you might be accused of being a weak or giving up or being disloyal or something like that and you're just kind of sick of it that's what i'm getting here all of the air signs are quite similar uh, for the mid months from the bottom of the deck the overall energy and guidance is the magician it's a great card the magician is somebody who's worked really hard to get to a place where they have all the tools knowledge skills and wisdom to manifest what they want and they know how to do it to manifest into physical reality what's in their head and their heart that seven of cups by combining their knowledge experience wisdom tools and resources and comparing that with the hard work it takes to actually make something happen and this is uh, kind of a direct that's the overall energy here and it's kind of a direct message to you as well from spirit um, libra i hope i didn't say aquarius or gemini because all of your guys's readings are so similar in the mid months Libra, it's kind of a direct message to you from Spirit saying you have everything that you need to manifest whatever it is that you want. You don't have to, you know, stay stuck, you know, like the donkey with the carrot in front of them to keep them moving forward, but they never get to eat the carrot, right? Until the donkey gets so worn out, they cut them out of the traces and get a new donkey, right? You don't need to stay in a situation like that. And I think that you're kind of getting to that breaking point here. Let's clarify the overall energy of the magician. The wheel of fortune so you can manifest your wheel of fortune divine timing orchestration spirits got your back you have everything that you need put the hard work into it and spirit will god spirit angels and guides will meet and match you every step of the way and there you are aquarius gemini libra sun moon rising or venus spirit is saying you have the ability to take all of your knowledge experience work all of resources all of that stuff and go off on your own and and do the hard work to manifest that they're going to be with you every step of the way let's clarify <coughs> the ace of coins in the reverse <sighs> the nine of wands again yeah i'm so tired of waiting I'm so tired of stalls i'm so tired of things not manifesting four of cups three of wands like you're waiting and waiting and waiting perpetually for that offer for your future waiting for your ships to come in waiting for that offer and it just never manifests i'm not going to bother clarifying death here because it's quite clear with death and the seven of cups that it is the death of an illusion or, or the exposure of what is actually an illusion but i am going to clarify the seven of cups death again 
it, it, it's really been proven to be an illusion. It's like the Wizard of Oz where the curtain gets pulled aside and you see exactly what's behind that and it's nothing like what you thought it was. The sun and the chariot. If you just work really hard, if you persevere and don't give up, you'll get there and everything will be just fine. That's the illusion. And you've got death twice with this illusion too. You're seeing it now exactly what it is. Challenging difficult whether it's work career or relationship of some other kind or romance it's it's difficult but it's better to know than not to know because you can keep yourself trapped for for years for a lifetime in a situation where you keep thinking it's going to be something but it actually never is and it may be difficult even quite painful to leave that situation but leaving it is what opens up the possibility and potential for you to have your wish fulfillment in a very real and healthy way right Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior, Feeling Discouraged, huh, The Devil. Yeah, this is a cycle that just keeps going around and around and around and around and around. It's unhealthy. It keeps tempting you, but draining you at the same time, right? The Nine of Cups, which is Wish Fulfillment, and the Three of Swords, which is, I mean, this is like, I mean, that's emotional pain, heartache. I mean, this is the perpetual this is the classic textbook definition of a stringer whether it's in a romantic relationship or a relationship with your boss or your job or whatever this is okay so if you just invest in this you know don't complain that means you're weak or you're 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 disloyal but they want you to put everything into it in the hopes that and kind of promising or implying you're going to get something but it never actually ends up manifesting but every time you start to talk about it you're just encouraged they might give you a little tiny bit or they might convince you to do it in another way, like, you know, what, are you, are you, you, you wanting to cut and run? Are you being disloyal? You know, it's that sort of thing. But here you're like, it is, the curtain is pulled. You can see it for what it is. Okay. It's never going to be enough. You're always going to be the miser, having to hoard and be very careful, right? All right, let's, it's unpleasant. I think we've all, or most of us, have been through some kind of situation or relationship like this and by relationship relation we're in relationship to just about everything right our work our money our job our homes our friends everything right um, so regardless of the nature of the relationship this is really and really unhealthy kind of toxic stringing along kind of relationship so let's see what advice and guidance spirit has I mean in course in Gemini's advice was quite logically from spirit to leave the situation make what plans you need to to do it in a smart way but leave huh. the ten of swords surrendering to a painful ending it's time to move on the world the last major arcana card in the tarot a major cycle has completed it's now time to move on start a brand new journey which would be the fool with the zero on his card but this is you know a cycle coming to an end Four of Swords, maybe taking a little time off to rest, recuperate, recover. And here we have the Fool again, a brand new journey. It's pretty clear, crystal clear. Spirit is advising you to make the plans you need to make to leave this. If you don't need to make plans and you have the ability just to leave, do that. Um, but be smart about it too. Because this is just not going to... And it, again, it may be difficult or painful. This is a general reading, so the intensity is going to vary. But um, you're, you're, you've been living in a soap bubble here, so it's time to uh, it's time to move on, so you can have something real and healthy. Okay, Libra, those are your messages for the last half of July. I, I don't know if I can say I hope you enjoyed them. Sometimes we have those readings where it's not always so, you know, rainbow and unicorny and all of that kind of stuff. But I hope at least that it's been helpful and clarifying and it's given you some food for thought. I will see you all. Um, and again, if it, if it has enough that you'd like to take a deeper look at it for yourself or as a gift for someone else, uh, feel free to email me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I'd be delighted to hear from you. You can also get that contact info by looking at the description link. I will see you guys in a couple of weeks for the August general readings. Stay safe and well. Hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.